The DLC for Risk of Rain 2 is coming August 27. For the people who haven't played the base game yet, I will quickly explain what it's about. You can skip this section by using the video chapters. This is a roguelike shooter that can be played both solo or with up to four players. You can choose from different classes, each with unique abilities and playstyles, and the game basically drops you onto a planet and you fight enemies to collect money, which you can then spend to open containers that give you items. These items provide different bonuses and upgrades to your character. There are tons of different items, and because they can stack, you can build ridiculously powerful, godlike character builds. And that is important, because the game slowly but consistently increases in difficulty until it eventually reaches the ha 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 difficulty. The game doesn't have a strong narrative focus. You create your own story through gameplay. With that said, quite a bit of stuff is confirmed to be coming with the Seekers of the Storm DLC. The DLC is launching simultaneously for all platforms and console players will get a free next-gen upgrade which includes 4K resolution, 60 FPS, progressive trophies and achievements and split-screen couch co-op. The DLC brings at least two new survivors with a third one being speculated about. The two confirmed ones are the Seeker and the Chef. The Seeker is designed as a mid-range brawler with healing abilities. Spirit Punch is her main attack. It's a three-hit combo where the third punch explodes. Her secondary skill summons a big ghostly hand from the ground that slows, knocks back and drains health from enemies. She's got a mobility skill that lets her fly for three seconds. Flying longer than three seconds will start draining health. Landing will cause an explosion that damages and stuns enemies. Her special ability is Meditate. This one creates a blast that damages nearby enemies and heals allies. Taking a look at the chef, it's not about cooking food, but rather cooking enemies. The main attack is called Dice. The chef throws cleavers at enemies and calls them back. Seer is the secondary skill. This is a short range heat blast that burns enemies over time. Their special skill is Glaze. The chef throws globs of oil towards the enemies, which of course harmonizes perfectly with his fire ability. His passive is called Chef's Kiss. If you combine different skills before you kill the enemies, then upon death they will basically turn into snacks. And these snacks have healing capabilities. Now along with these new survivors, six new environments are coming as well, including but not limited to the Shattered Abodes, Reformed Altar, and the Treeborn Colony. A decent chunk of new items is coming as well. The exact number isn't confirmed, but trailers and dev diaries have shown around seven so far. But this is likely not the final number. At least three new enemy types are confirmed. One of those is the Child, which according to developers is a teleporting bundle of death. The DLC also introduces a new antagonist, the False Sun, a pretty crucial character that has only been hinted at so far. If you decide to play this with other players, only one player needs to own the expansion for all players to access its content. This does not include survivors and unlocks. And this is it. If your time was respected, I very much appreciate a like or a comment.